gonna make my own sausage mix. So I'm gonna take some ground pork, mix it with a little spice, fry them up, and then just pair them with a nice goopy fried egg. Now, no brunch would be brunch to me without a goopy egg. And to my mind, if I'm gonna fry some eggs, it means I'm gonna make some homemade pork sausage mix. I start with a pound of ground pork. This is just like making meatballs or hamburger mix. You wanna spread it out so you got a lot of surface area so your seasonings go right in and blend in immediately. And I bought this pork fairly lean. I don't want it to be fatty or gristly. I want it to be filled with flavor and a meaty quality. So first, I start by adding a little layer of salt. And to that, I wanna add a little spice blend. Now, being Italian-American, I cannot imagine making a pork sausage mix without starting with a little fennel seed. So one teaspoon of fennel seed, one scant teaspoon of chili flakes, and a scant half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper for a little kick. Pork takes spice so well. And that looks really beautiful, too. And this is one of my favorite simple techniques. Just toasting some spices, waking them up from their little nap in the spice cabinet. Now, to bring all this together, half a cup of breadcrumbs as the binder. That's really the glue that's gonna hold the pork and all these fantastic flavors together. And then for that little bit of salt factor, that bit of creaminess, some grated Parmesan cheese. Just grate some parm, about half a cup. Add that in, and then add those toasted spices right over. Mix it all in, and then stir it all together. Mm. You can feel the texture changing and the aroma coming off the combination. Okay, so once this is all mixed together, then it's time to get down and dirty with the hands. I'm gonna form some patties. You know those little meaty patties? Sometimes you get them in diners. They're just so reminiscent of childhood. They're kind of like the frozen sausages my parents bought when I was a kid. So I just take a little bit of this, roll it into a meatball, and then just flatten it and kind of square off those edges a little bit into a patty. You know what else I love about this shape? It's a perfect shape to park a fried egg right on top. So a couple more patties, roll them, press them down. About a generous half inch thick is perfect. By the time they brown on both sides, you still want them to be a little bit tender and juicy in the middle. So you need a certain amount of thickness. I wanna get these pork sausage patties cooking, so I start by heating my cast iron skillet pretty decently hot. Add a little bit of canola oil. Not too much, you don't need it, because you are gonna get a little bit of juice coming out of these patties. Take a brunch time out from your day and get your pan really, really hot, because these pork sausages are worth it. And just arrange the patties at a decent distance from each other so that they can brown. They're not too close. Don't overcrowd. I turn down the heat ever so slightly. Give them a little shake. And just give the first flip to these pork sausages. See how they're looking. Wonderful little crust. You can see those spices we put in there. It's sort of like a mini Italian sausage. When you turn these on their second side, turn up the heat again. It's very important to give the entire day over to a meal. Shut off your phone, draw the curtains, have some sausage and some cocktails. So I'll take the rest of the sausages out and I'll leave this here. It's time to fry some eggs and just get into the party. Once I get the eggs cooking, I just put the tiniest pinch of salt on top of them and a little bit of pepper. So now that my eggs are starting to kind of come to a place where I want to eat them, I'll take a couple of these sausages and I'll just drop them in here a little bit just to heat them up ever so slightly. Grab that egg right on top of there. Does that look like a diamond ring or is it me? This is why brunch is my favorite. Because you cut this, look what happens to that egg. It just leaks over that bit of sausage and just bastes the middle with the yolk. 
Mm. Wow. The gooeyness of the yolk against the fennel seed, the chili flakes, and that crispy edge of the pork sausage, so tasty. 